actually did rise. This changes everything. It does present somewhat of a challenge. Well, it really all depends. On us. And them. And whatever becomes of all of this. We still have influence, even after this. This only makes a difference. If it's true. And it is true. So we create a little doubt. Maybe doubt. today it appears to be true. To those who just saw it anyway. To those who witnessed it firsthand, maybe. But in the long run, let's say a hundred, a thousand, two, two thousand, thousand years from now, I, I doubt if anyone will remember it, let alone believe it. Yeah, so, a lie. A lie. It has to be something else. Because a lie doesn't satisfy the emotions. People will always crave and experience a feeling. Something that drives them to action. Wars have been stopped. Everyone Countries divided. Kings betrayed. All because of a ridiculous emotion. The truth wrong still things to the wrong, wrong person. It is clouding your eyes. As, as, as long as there is just one, one that driven by, by passion. Passion, yes. simply passion can use its own ways. Emotions, emotions can be easily confused. People will always be the problem. So does solution. Mother nature. Money. Power. Self-enlightenment. And when things are in the hands of people, it's always a sure bet that at some point they'll get tired, lazy, too busy, distracted, scared. Scared because they fear for their lives. They fear personal. May not be true at all. Being looked at as free. As long as it makes them happy. And if we can make others feel that scripture is so, we'll have to constrict the impossible task. They will all this hope in it. All of his promises. All their passions and their directions. They'll begin to bicker over the truth. Allegorize it. They start arguing over things like history, translation, authenticity. And they will plague themselves with the ritual to declare some sense of higher purpose without having any joy. As they will create their own stories, develop their own beliefs. Thank you.